What up, gang? Carolina Jackpot checking in. Look at this right here. That is going into one four foot section and one little spinner rack in a Dollar General. Look at this freaking invoice. It's long, it's strong, and it's down to get the friction on. So, yeah. Uh -uh. So, I came up here. I, th this is on the new route I just took over. This is last worked on August the 30th. What's today? September 19th. I'm like, it can't be that bad. Really? Can it? <laughs> Follow me inside. Apparently, the people in Waterloo, South Carolina, like the chips, and they like the pork snacks. And I just stopped in here to use the bathroom. But we're going to get it taken care of. that y'all go on ahead and laugh at that back here i know y'all see it <laughs> the camper overshot the truck bed by about three feet anyway um that's that but if <clears throat> you ever think about wanting to get into this type of business if you have to be home at a certain time and you're worried about that it's probably not for you you don't like getting up early it's probably not for you that's the th that is what i can stress the most get up early because like like not all stops like uh this one here for instance you can't get in here at five o'clock in the morning or 4 30 in the morning but at walmart you can so like you start there and just work your way around that if you have walmart the, the day you don't have walmart maybe you start at one of the 24 hour convenience stores as early as they'll let you get there. And then you try to get stores like this in the afternoon. This here, I wasn't even planning on working this today. And I've never, I've never been in here before, uh, but I saw it when it was last work and I said, I'm trying to catch up, I'll get that next week. Well, I got in here and I saw the condition of that and there was no way I was leaving that um, in that kind of condition, so. I went on ahead and got it filled up. That was um, uh, it's almost five, right at five hundred dollars worth of product in there, um, which is a lot for one little four foot section and one rack. And there's no telling how much sales that we've lost in that particular store. And God knows how long has it been that empty? You know, I mean, it could have gotten that empty a week after it was last word. I mean, they could have had a run on it, and it could have just gotten empty in the past couple of days, although that's highly unlikely. It happened over the course of the last three weeks, but it won't get like that again. So that one's now part of my repertoire. And you just got to kind of find the best way on a route to kind of get these stores together. I have a lot of them and they're all spread out all over the place. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, but that's just what I can suggest to anyone who gets into this. If you want to make money at it, I mean, work your stops, work your stops. Now, if you're bored and you're working a stop every two weeks, go check it out after a week. Now, you may have sold more than you bargained for and you can fill it on up. We do those Dollar Tree stores. And a guy that I worked with when I first started tried to tell me, only go once every two weeks, it'll be empty and then you can fill it up. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if it's empty after you've gotten there after two weeks, how do you know when it got empty? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, don't overthink it. Just, just, just you go over two weeks, you fill it up. So it's totally empty. Put about $200 worth in when it's totally empty. As opposed to, so I go back after one week and it's two thirds of the way empty and I put $125 in it. Then I go back the next week and I put another $125 in it. See what I did there? Yeah. 
I just made another 50 bucks in sales just by going and checking it out. So that's all I can tell you, work your stops. Sometimes you may have so many that, that you can't just work it all like that, but um, just work hard at it. It's, it's five o'clock right now. It's gonna be right at six before I get back to the warehouse where our product does to load up for tomorrow. And I'm not gonna get home tonight till like 7.30. It's either that or I can um, choose to just go on home now. However, if I do that, I'll have to get up about 2.30, 45 or three at the latest tomorrow morning to go to our warehouse to load it up and then come back. That's what I did yesterday. Because I was, uh, the last place I worked was over in Abbeville, South Kakalaki. I don't know if anybody, some of y'all know where that's at. Some of you don't. It's almost on the Georgia line. It's that far out. So I just went on home when I was done because it was like 5 o'clock when I got finished. No way, man. I'm not doing that again today uh, and getting up that early again. I, I want to sleep till at least 4 uh, in the morning. So um, I am going to go on and get this truck loaded up for tomorrow. Probably have some good sales again then, too. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. Y'all take care.